just don't want to hurt the tongue, whatever we do. So this is pretty unusual. Imagine having this stuck on your tongue, how uncomfortable and traumatic this must be. And just imagine, you know, try very gently taking it off before I sedate the bird. We'll just see, um, So we're gonna to have to sedate and cut off with the dental, aren't we? Yes, so let's sedate it. We'll use our dental. Um, so Steve, all I've really had a look is this thing on your bird's tongue. And looking at the tongue, I can't pull this off. When I open a beak, the tongue comes right out. It looks like there's steel pieces that have been broken or jagged off this bell are actually in her tongue. Yeah, jagged. So what I'm gonna to have to do is anesthetize her lightly. And we're gonna basically cut this cut this into various pieces so it comes off in pieces. Yeah. You won't be able to reuse the belt. Oh, no. It's not a very good uh, toy as it turns out, is it? <laughs> you know, there's certain things in life that are just major accidents. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like you can't anticipate that a tongue's going to get caught in this. We just wouldn't expect it. Well, it's wider. She's made it wider. So birds, as you know, I mean, they got pretty... The, the, the fact is, one of the incredible things about a beak is they can move the top beak and bottom beak independently and they can get things done. Yeah, yeah. So we'd like you, we need a consent from you to anesthetize your bird. Get a little bit of fluids, cut it off, and hopefully we'll, if, if things go really well, you may be able to take your bird on now. If there's bleeding and other things, we'll probably keep your bird. All oh, right, okay. So close. So close. It's really tight in on the tongue, isn't it? I just don't want to touch the tongue if I do. Mm. The tongue was a bit swollen. It's very swollen. <laughs> Sorry, baby. <laughs> so we're getting there. Um, <laughs> Okay, so we've kind of got it off here. We're just gonna to have to uh, just do the other side of the thing. Thank you. 
Sur comment placer nos attrapes de cuisson. Have you got fluids for this already, John? Yeah. They're not warmies, but. And everyone. Yay. So. Sorry, it was a ball with the, you know, didn't want that going down the throat. Well, got Mel, so. You can see it's come out. We've cut into little pieces. Our little bird's a little bit sleepy. How's the tongue look? The tongue looks great. So, if so you can see the tongue way. There's some bleeding on the tongue, but that's not, you know, that's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. So, we're going to have to give it some fluids now. So, for anyone watching this, you're correct in assuming this bird doesn't look right. The feathers don't look right. The beak doesn't look right. If you notice the under jaw is overgrown, the top beak has been broken and malformed. The wings are drooping. There's a leg band on his leg. He just doesn't look good. So all those things are well noticed and we're obviously very aware of it. And a good, a good avian vet or a good veterinary clinic would say, wow, is this beak and feather? Beaks overgrown? You'll, you'll see some other YouTube clips about what causes overgrown beaks and how we manage them. But this bird came as, a, as, a, as an emergency. What's miraculous when we took it out, inside the bell there's a little ball. And thanks to Mel, our practice manager, if she, as, as soon as we took the... Um, as soon as we managed to take the, the bell and cut it open, if we weren't careful, that ball would have gone down. If it went down the trachea, the, if the cockatoo would have died. And if it went down the esophagus, it could have been a problem. It was really nice that the owner gave us a, a, a bell that hadn't been broken so we could cut it open, look at it and feel it, feel it before we did the surgery. So let's try and have a look at some. So that sort of prepared you for what you're going to be dealing with. So it, so it prepared me. So this is actually, when you look at the, at the side of the cave, we've got two. These are two. This is the actual one that I took off the, that's the one that I took off the tongue. And this is one that I opened up before, just that I knew what had happened and how it had happened. Miraculously, although there's bleeding and, or bleeding and scabbing at the bottom of the tongue, um, it, do, it doesn't really need stitches. There was just... And on the other side. So although this bird's got many health issues, so it needs a blood screen, We've actually done a beak and feather test because that, that's a good thing to do. And that was negative, wasn't it? And that was negative. And, and, and potentially, if this owner is able to, antibiotics, but we'll dribble them in the beach so they touch the tongue. But this guy should make a really good recovery. And it's pretty awesome. We've taken out, uh, you know, there was no way of getting it out without cutting it out. So without cutting it out, the bird would die. And you also saw that it's very difficult. Um, you can't anaesthetize the bird because we normally anaesthetize by putting a mask on. So this, this particular time we used injectable anesthesia. We use drugs like midazolam, which is a uh, which is a human sleeping tablet kind of drug. And we also use drugs like butorphanol, which is a narcotic. And uh, we can use drugs like ketamine as well. If you use those three drugs together, you get a you get the bird pretty sleepy, and that was the state he was in. He was pretty unconscious. We also gave some fluids, so we've got a great result. This little guy's going home, and he's actually happy with us. Are you happy with us? Just a little bit drugged up, but you can see a beautiful bonded bird with a great result. No Ready? more bells for you. <laughs> the end of a case when we're sending a bird back to its owner this is not a video on how to crop feed but um, because it hasn't eaten for 24 hours and it's been a bit stressed in the clinic and it's been anaesthetized 
I'd like to just know that it's got, besides fluids that we injected, having giving a crop feed with a high amino acid vitamin supplements, like really good, so it's in the crop. And now's the time that's so important for vets, when? Back to the owner. Just make yeah. sure your crop feed stays down. Yeah, I'll my own. That Steve, beautiful to see that. He's gorgeous. That's what we want. You get away, that's wonderful. You alright? Yeah. That's nice. That's what we want.